I was getting bored, so I was scrolling through YouTube shorts when I suddenly saw this AI arts of our MLBB characters. I started looking for ways to make my own artwork because goddamn, it looks so great. So without any further ado, let's directly dive into the world of AI along with our MLBB characters. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video, we are going to do something different than usual that will surely catch your breath. Here are the questions from our previous video. The first question is asked by Aaron Long, asking whether I use Instagram or not. Yes, we have an Instagram handle with at the rate the Kazuki official. Make sure to follow as we give updates there too. The second question is asked by Tarang, asking whether I'm married or not. Well, I love playing Chao and it is what inspired me to be single. Am I a joke to you? Finding the web page from which it was being made was the first thing I needed to do. After thorough research, I discovered that the stable diffusion of the mid journey made it feasible. I straight went into its Discord board and started typing the prompts, but found out that it's needed a subscription to allow me to generate images. Okay, no problem. Let's get the subscription as this is something you guys are going to love. However, after I was done with payments and started giving prompts to Mid Journey AI, the results were not even near my expectation. So what was I missing? Maybe my research was wrong. It literally took me one week to finally have some understanding of this site. I'm sure you have already seen some of our generation in our recent thumbnails too. That was done using Mid Journey AI. Would I want to say that it was not a child's play and really took some efforts and precious time. So hit that like button and subscribe to our channel if you are new here as it motivates us to make more videos like this. Finally, let's have a look at some of our MLBB heroes AI generations. Everyone has seen the portrait for Alpha, but this AI generated image of Alpha looks freaking badass. There are some differences like the horns on his facial armor. But the details on the armor and the red eyes just make Alpha feel like you don't want to mess with this guy. A perfect cyborg to his name. Alucard Obsidian Blade is one of my favorite legend skins because of his cool bike. The bike in AI generated image just became 10 times cooler. The purple lightning effects along with the sparks from the ground and our Giga Chad Alucard all combined are a treat to the eyes. I have another AI generated image and this also looks very cool with the blue tint and that unique headlight for the bike. Our cowboy Sheriff Clint is sure popular in the land of Dawn. But this AI image of Clint made him a real cowboy from the wild west. Our Clint grew a beard and decided to become one serious man with whom I don't think I can have a showdown. Will you be able to face him in a showdown? Comment down your opinions. Next, we have the beauty from the desert Esmeralda. Is it just me or Esmeralda looks like she's from the Middle Eastern country? She looks like a princess. I mean, just look at the jewelry. She sure became royalty. The second image for Esmeralda just make my suspicion confirmed. She does look very elegant and classy like royal. Talking about royalty, I remember we have a royal guard Fanny too. This AI generation is one of my favorites. Doesn't this look exactly like our Fanny? Everything about this image is perfect. The armor details, the wings, the facial structure, her body, everything is a perfect match. Honestly, I didn't expect this image to be so pretty. Let's see another character with big wings, Freya. Wow. I mean, just wow. Doesn't this image look mesmerizing? I can stare it for hours if I want, but if I keep crushing on her, then who will continue the video? So let's not disturb Freya anymore. And come, let's check out our handsome hunk Gushen. Well, I don't know if Gushen became more handsome or become more younger in this generation. Help me out in the comment section. This AI generation sure made Gushen look like a handsome assassin ready to kill with his charm. Well, let's try taking Gushen Kadesh skin as a reference. 
This generation actually make him look like an assassin coming straight out of the anime universe and a really crooked badass who will take you down if you mess up with him. Next will be our ninjutsu genius Hayabusa. Doesn't this AI generated image give you the feeling of a true ninja? His armor looks so good that if it was in my grasp, I would just buy it in an instant. Honestly, those Irimoya Jukuri style buildings give me the feel of the samurai period of Japan. This AI image of Ayabusa is even better. The look in Ayabusa's eyes is seriously a very serious look. Looks like he will cut you up if I don't move on to our queen of southern seas Kadita. Now this is something. Kadita looks like the great Atlantean princess who is ready for both. Show mercy if you are polite and strike you hard with her trident if you poke her in any way. The image of Kadita looks more like a royal queen from the seas who is very elegant. The crown is so well done here and the details on her dress are just on another level. If we combine the above stated qualities, we get our third AI generated image for Kadita. And this image is very well done. Her big curly hairs with gold earrings are my favorite. Which AI generated image of Karita did you like the most? Now let's check one of my favorite skins in the game Kagura Exorcist. Kagura looks so kawaii. I'm sure if she was a real life character walking among us, she would have dozens and dozens of admirers. No, don't look at me, I'm talking about you guys. She does look like a waifu in this AI generated image and I will not be surprised if you start simping for her after watching this. Audit recently got a create skin and it's one of the best designed skins. The AI generated image is far superior in terms of design, complexity and details and she looks more like a warrior in this image. I have another image and this one looks more ladylike. The headband makes her look prettier and don't show this image to Lancelot, please. I'm sure he won't believe that it's his lover. Let's move on to our blindfolded Farsa. Okay, this AI generation sure is a little on a darker tone. And how can you remove Farsa's husband mid-journey? Not acceptable at all. Even Farsa looks angry because AI didn't include her husband. I mean his winged partner in the result. In the second image, Farsa looks even more furious because again it forgot to include her husband yet again. Mid Journey AI seems to hate the fact that she has a husband, I guess. Hi. Okay. Moving on to our shimmer of hope, Vexana. Okay, except for the fact that her wand looks awesome, no one can deny that she looks like a queen ready to rule over the land with her royal magic wand. The facial features are extraordinary and I can see another wave of admirers for her too. If the first was beautiful, this one is more accurate to facial feature for Exana. The crown looks very sleek and looks like a very powerful tool which only someone worthy can yield. Up next, one versus one lover, Yen. Damn. This sure looks pretty hardcore. Just look at the details in his eyes. Isn't it looking deadly? The look of anger just complements it even more. The way the gauntlets are done is just perfect. For me, this will be the best AI generated image I created so far. What do you think? Is it cool or just okay? Share your opinions. I do want to know them. Next, I have the Lady Flesh Joy. Okay, I changed my mind, this image looks even cooler. I mean, it looks so realistic and similar to the joy that I can't find any faults in this image. Pure perfection. I almost forgot about our silent killer Natalia. I can't decide anymore which is my favorite. Even though this image looks so good that I can't compare it with others. The scars on her face surely make her looks like a silent killer who will assassinate you in mere moments while you stare at her beauty. And at last we have the fangirl of Clint, Mathilda. Mathilda's AI generated image looks like Mathilda visited the Red Indians and took their dress and feathers and made herself look like a Red Indian herself. 
Do you agree with me? Which was your favorite AI generated image? Do you also use AI to pass your time? Feel free to drop your thoughts in the comment section. That will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.